This is Zamatha High School, a private Catholic boys' institution in Hyattsville, Maryland. 800 students, grades 9 through 12. Because it is a private institution, Zamatha has been able to attract outstanding young student athletes from throughout the area. You talk about a winning tradition. 517 wins, 75 losses under the guidance of Morgan Wooten. As a matter of fact, in the last 15 years, they've won 423 games and only 45 losses. A 90% winning tradition. 56 major high school championships have been gathered by Morgan Wooten's teams. We talk about trophy cases. You can see that the trophy cases at DeMatha are full of memorable moments. Probably the most important was when DeMatha beat the great power memorial teams led by Lou Alcindor back in 1965. As a matter of fact, the entire squad has been put in Basketball's Hall of Fame. Every player in the last 15 years that has been a senior at DeMatha High School has won a college scholarship. And talk about outstanding performers. Adrian Dantley, maybe College Basketball's Player of the Year this year. Kenny Carr from North Carolina State. Ronnie Satterwhite at William & Mary. Billy Langlow at Virginia, and the tradition goes on and on. In the long traditional line at DeMatha, we have another one with us. Charles Hawkeye Whitney, what brought you to DeMatha? People know it as a basketball school, but, uh, you know, you get a great education, and that's mainly why I went to get a great education. Like, the team is just like a family, and uh, I think it's real nice. You know, they had the coaches and all, so if there's any problems, you take it to the coaches, and uh, I, I think that's why we're going to be number one this year. Uh, they call him Hawkeye. And he's a great player, and um, he's a great person. And that's one thing we do say a lot, a lot about in our program. We think it's more important to be a good person than, a good, than to be a good player. A lot of people think that uh, recruiting has really gotten out of hand. Morgan, what do you think about college recruiting? Well, there's no question it uh, has gotten out of hand, I think. In our situation, I think we have it well controlled because every year we're used to the recruiters coming by. But I think it's a high school coach who comes up maybe once in his career with a great player where it can really get out of hand, and some guidelines are needed, though, no question. How about your guidelines for college coaches in regard to recruiting? Well, we say, number one, that everything must come through the coaching office, and the coaching staff, we act as a buffer, because a 17-year-old young man is not going to say no to anybody. And the, his, his family, they don't know what recruiting is all about. And you can have recruiters in the house up till midnight every night, seven days a week, if you're not careful. So. Our guidelines are this. They can come to school and spend 10 minutes talking to the young man. If they created an interest and wants to visit their campus, fine. They cannot call him at home. They cannot visit his home unless he wants them to. And he will talk with me, and if he says, Coach, you know, I'm just not interested in college, then I will tell that coach that he's not interested. It's easy for us to say no, but for a 17-year-old young man to say no or for his parents to say no, it's very, very difficult. We talked about recruiting the math of players. How about, on the other hand, your recruitment of players to DeMatha? No, we're not allowed to recruit. We're not allowed to go out and seek the players out. But because of our winning tradition, the players naturally want to come. We have members of this year's varsity league, for example, that I never saw play, that wrote me letters saying they'd like to come to DeMatha and be part of our program. And uh, I guess the fact that we're getting a good student athlete makes for good teams. About 98% of our boys go into college. 